Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the flyway design pattern which is also known as cache design pattern. So when to use the flyway design pattern? Let's first understand that and let's understand with one example as well within the code like how we can design the flyway design pattern, how to use it. So there are three scenarios where we can use the flyway design pattern. Whenever your application has a huge number of object creations. So whenever you're creating the objects, those objects are in huge numbers. That's where we can use the flyway design pattern. Also, the objects that we are creating are very huge or very heavy in processing. So it is taking too much time in creating those objects within the memory. If that's the case, we should use the flyway design pattern. And the other thing is whenever the objects properties can be divided into intrinsic properties and extrinsic properties. Now what is intrinsic properties? Intrinsic properties justifies that the object is unique. Okay. Whenever any properties are set with that property, if the object is unique, we will call it as a intrinsic properties. And what is extrinsic properties? Extrinsic properties are something that will be added by the client itself. So whenever there are properties that needs to be defined by the client, those properties will be extrinsic properties and if any object has been divided into two parts that is intrinsic and extrinsic that's when we can use the flyway design pattern based on how we can create this object okay so if you're creating huge objects right that means we are creating a lot of number of objects and the objects are also heavy right that's when we will be using the flyway design pattern so suppose let's take the example where you have to create a lot of objects right so let's take the simple example where you're creating the shapes right so Suppose you have to create shapes and whenever you want to create a shape, suppose you have oval shapes, you have line, you have rectangle. Okay. These are the different shapes that you have. And whenever you want the object, what you will do is you will call the constructor of these. Okay. To create the objects. And whenever you will call the constructor, the new object will be created for it and you will get that particular object. And suppose for every object creation, for every object creation, suppose it is taking around uh, one second. Okay. So it's taking one second to create the object. So what will happen is like whenever you will call that I want the object of an oval with all these properties like it should be filled, it should be not filled, it should be with this border, it should not be with this border, it should be dashed, whatever the properties are. And there might be some properties defined by the client as well like the oval should be drawn at this x and y direction. All those different things are there and the oval should be with this this much width and this much height. All these different properties will be set by the client. Those are extrinsic, like what should be the fill, what should be the border, all those who are intrinsic properties that can be directly used. If there is a case and the object creation is taking too much time, so for every object creation, you will take that much time and the processing will be too slow, right? So it's very huge and heavy process as well. So to avoid this scenario, we will use the flyway design pattern. In flyway design pattern, what we will do is we will have the interface for shape okay let's use this example itself we will have the uh, interface for the shape and for this shape different concrete classes are there suppose line is there oval is there rectangle is there okay now based on this concrete classes all these concrete classes will have the intrinsic properties and extrinsic properties intrinsic properties and extrinsic properties all will have different types of properties i suppose line will not have any intrinsic properties it will have extrinsic properties like to which position the line should be drawn oval like oval should be filled or non-filled the border should be normal or dash border that's these are the different intrinsic properties extrinsic properties will be like in which position this oval should be drawn those are the extrinsic properties okay so you can see that there is a difference where we can identify the intrinsic and extrinsic properties for each of the different shapes now for all of this there will be a constructor as well right to create the object but directly we won't be using it we, client won't be directly using the constructor to get all the objects what we will do is we will create a flyway factory okay and from that factory itself the objects will be created right so what i'll do is i'll create a flyway factory and within this flyway factory we will define what type of shape you need and based on the type of the shape what we will do is based on the type we pass okay based on the type we pass what we will do is we will have one hash map what we will do is we will store all the different objects we won't try to create each and every object every time if the object is available within the map we will use the same object if not we will create the new object and we will store in the hash map so every time what we are doing is we are not creating the object so that means whatever the heavy lifting is there to create the object 
that we are minimizing whenever the object is created with the intrinsic values and we need the same object we will just return it suppose the type of the object is i want oval filled oval okay that is one of the type suppose i want oval as non filled okay suppose i need a line suppose i need a rectangle as a filled okay these are the different types of object now what will happen is based on the type defined here okay within the map we will check if this particular type is available or not if not we will create a new oval with the type whatever is defined that is filled with the intrinsic values and we will create the object and we will store the same object in hashmap as well and the next time if the client is asking for the same oval field we will check in the hashmap and we will return the same object so whatever the time is getting consumed in creating the objects that has been neglected now and all the intrinsic values are already set within the object and those objects are already available so directly we can utilize those okay so that's the general idea behind the flyway design pattern and the flyway factory which will help us to utilize the already existing object with the intrinsic values and the extrinsic values will be directly been set by the client which is calling this factory okay so this was the overall idea about the flyway let's see with the example as well so let's see the same example that we have used here that is the shape one so if i go to the code here okay you can see that i have created the flyway ob a uh, project and within that we have different classes so let's first go here uh, i have the shape interface here you can see that this is a shape interface and within this interface we have one method that is draw and what draw is doing is it's taking the graphics it is taking x and y position width and height and the color of the shape that you want to draw this is a simple method defined and all the different shape that we are going to create that will implement this draw method and all the different shape will have the different intrinsic and extrinsic values so let's go towards the line okay so line is implementing shape but line doesn't have any intrinsic values so what it is doing it it is just having a constructor here and what we are doing is we are just printing that creating a line and i am just adding a thread dot sleep of 2 seconds why i am adding is just to have the delay like just to mimic that the object creation for line is taking some time to create so whenever i am creating the object first time that time it there will be a delay but next time when i want to use the same thing there won't be delay to mimic that i am just using the thread dot sleep here okay so this is the constructor that i'm using and there is a draw method as well where i'm taking uh, the graphics line all the xy positions and everything and i'm just setting the color and i'm drawing the line here simple thing okay if i go to the oval here you can see that for oval also i'm impl implementing the shape and for oval there is an intrinsic property that is fill what is the fill type do i want to fill or do i not want to fill the oval for same thing there is a constructor here and this constructor you can see that i'm taking the uh, boolean f here that is fill true or not and i'm taking the thread dot sleep here to create the object similarly i'm just using the draw method to draw that oval okay now for this you can see that we have the shapes here already now as you can see that we have discussed about the flyway factory here also we have used the flyway factory that is the shape factory and this shape factory will identify the different objects based on the intrinsic values and it will return the object if it's available so here within the shape factory you can see that we have the hash map of type shape type and shape okay shape is the interface that we have defined that what type of shape it is and shape type we have defined as the enum here you can see that what type of shape type it is it's oval fill oval no fill line whatever you want to create accordingly okay and now with the get shape method you have to pass the shape type and based on that the object will be created and that object will be available within the hash map suppose here let's take the example of oval fill uh, we will get the oval fill here as a shape type and we will here check within the shape implementation that shapes dot get so within this hash map we will do shapes dot get oval fill oval fill will not be available because the object is only just created so we will get null here and if we are getting null here what we will do is we will check what is the shape type if it's oval fill what we will do is we will create a new oval with true if it's no fill we will create new oval with false if line we will just create line and whatever the object is created we will put that object within the map and we will return the object so you can see that only once that object is created with the intrinsic values and that object will be available always within the hash map and from that hash map we will return the object when it's been called second time okay so that's how the entire design pattern will work and let's see the client as, as well so how client will call this 
okay so this is the entire code here i have just used this code from the digital ocean i have added the link as well so if you want to read about it you can go through it that's the same example that i have used here okay it was a really good example so i took this now here every time you can see that based on the shape type we have defined here right shapes and based on the shape type the front uh, random shapes are created so if i run this example you will see that for the first time when the objects are getting created it will take time but after that the same objects are being re reused for that it will not take that much time so let me just run this application so you can see that this is the application here okay now what i will do is i will just click on draw after clicking on draw it will try to create the objects first time it will take some time to create the object but next time those objects are already available so it will just save time and it will reutilize all those objects that are already been available so i'm just clicking draw it's taking time and now you can see that first oval is created then second and you can see that a lot of objects are created so you can see that for the first time first filled and first non filled oval and first line took time but after that it was very quick right so this is how the flyover design pattern will work that which means it is caching everything right so that's why it's also called as cache design pattern so this is how the flyover design pattern will work if you have any doubts regarding any of the things that we have covered then do let me know in the comment section below if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button to support my channel i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye